So hello students. So in one of our previous videos, we introduced about time and distance. In fact, we solved two examples. Now let us take one example from one of the CBSE textbooks. Here is the question. Let's return to the question. Raj and Ajay are very close friends. Both the families decide to go to Raniket by their own cars. Raj's car travels at a speed of x kilometers per hour, while Ajay's car travels at 5 kilometers per hour faster than Raj's car. Raj took 4 hours more than Ajay to complete the journey of 400 kilometers. Now we have bunch of 5 questions in this. Let us give the detailing to the question to understand it better. So here we have the question. Let us try to draw a diagram before we solve this. Raj and Ajay are two friends. They are planning for a small journey. And the distance traveled in the journey is how many kilometers students? It is 400 kilometers, right? We don't know what is Raj's speed. They given it as x kilometers per hour. So Raj is traveling at x kilometers per hour. While Ajay's car travels 5 kilometers per hour faster than Raj's car. So what would be the speed of Ajay's car? That is a x plus 5 kilometers per hour. As Raj's speed is less, it is obvious it takes more time, right? The person who is traveling at more speed will take less time and the person who travels at less speed will take more time because speed and time are inversely proportional as you are already aware of it. So Raj took 4 hours more than Ajay. If Raj, Ajay takes 3 hours for the journey, Raj will take how many hours? Raj will take T plus 4 hours. Then let us try to find out what is the Raj speed? What is Ajay's speed? What is the time taken by Raj to complete the journey? And what is the time taken by Ajay to complete the journey? So to solve this question, one of the observations would be out of three variables, speed, distance and time. Here, distance is a fixed variable, which is 400 kilometers. We can easily see the difference of times taken for Raj and Ajay is four hours, right? Okay, let us try to write down the time taken by Raj. Time taken by Raj, that is the time is nothing but distance by speed. So distance traveled is 400 kilometers. Raj is traveling at x kilometers per hour. What is the time taken by Ajay then? Time taken by Ajay is distance is 400 kilometers by speed of Ajay is x plus 5. Now, as per the discussion, the difference of the times taken is 4 hours, right? So, time taken by Raj minus time taken by Ajay, this difference is how many hours? 4 hours. It is clearly evident here, guys. Are you able to comprehend this? We are directly writing the difference of the times taken would be 4 hours. Now, how do you solve this expression? Let us try to take this 400 common. If you take it out, this becomes 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 5 is equal to 4. Now, let's try to solve this. Now, 4 goes 1 times in this, 4 goes 100 times in this. So, 100 times, what would be LCM for the denominators x and x plus 5? That is x into x plus 5. So, 1 into x plus 5 is x plus 5 minus 1 into x would be x. This is how many? 1. So, 100 into plus x minus x gets cancelled. 100 into 5 is equal to, if we cross multiply this x into x plus 5 to the right side, this becomes x square plus 5x. Now, take this find it to the right side. So the final quadratic expression would be x square plus 5x minus 500 is equal to 0. Now, by using the concept of splitting the middle term or writing the factors, you can simplify this expression as. So now the expression we got is x square plus 5x minus 500 is equal to 0. Now product of factors is minus 500. Sum of factors is plus 5. You can write 25 times 20 as 500. But to get product of terms as negative, one of the factors should be negative, right? And moreover, the sum of the factors should be positive. So keep negative symbol for small number. So that 25 minus 20 would be 5. 
25 into minus 20 would be minus 500. If you factorize that, this becomes x plus 25 into x minus 20 is equal to 0. If the product of two numbers is 0, either the first term is 0 or second number is 0, that leads to x equal to 20 comma minus 25. But is it possible for a person to travel at negative speed? No. So what is the valid number for x? 20 would be the valid number. Once if you find the value of x, you can answer the all questions given in it. Okay, let's go for the questions now. So now we, we figured out that the value of x is 20. And what is the expression for quadratic expression here we got? We got x square plus 500 x square plus 5x minus 500 no so x square plus 5x minus 500 is equal to 0 so these are the expression we got now let's do it what will be the distance covered by ajay's car in two hours what is the distance traveled by ajay's car in two hours what is speed of ajay by the way speed of ajay is x plus 5 kilometers per hour in two hours how much distance he will travel we know that distance is a speed into time Distance but traveled by Ajay in 2 hours would be speed is x plus 5 and the time is 2 hours. So this is the distance traveled by Ajay in 2 hours and that is our first question here. What is that? 2 into x plus 5. Now second question. Which of the following equations or quadratic equations describe the speed of Raj car? So to get the speed of the Raj car, this is a quadratic expression we got it. With our simplifications, we can look into this equation once again. So here, we have written some expression and we reduce the expression to be x square plus 5x minus 500 to be 0 and that is our next question and here we have it, option C. Third question, what is the speed of Raj? We considered Raj speed as what? We considered Raj speed as x. So what is x value we got? We got x as 20. So what is the answer for this question? 20 kilometers per hour would be the speed of Raj car. How much time took Ajay to travel 400 kilometers? So time taken by any person is nothing but distance by speed. Distance traveled is 400 kilometers by what is speed of Ajay guys? We got speed of Ajay as x plus 5. x is 20 plus 5, 25. So by 25 you have to place. So 25 goes 16 times in 400. So Ajay took 16 hours to complete the journey so which is 16 hours and last question is how much time took raj to travel 400 kilometers same as above you know so time is again 400 by speed of raj is how many 20 kilometers per hour so he will take 20 hours to complete the journey and that is option two so in this way you can use a simple diagram to understand the question then you can understand the parameters of Time and distance as we discussed about speed, time and the distance, you can eliminate one of the variable and you can solve that is all about time and distance. So there are n number of applications in time and distance. You can observe the questions on trains and platforms. You can observe the questions on boats and streams. So there is a lot more to test on this. Going forward, you learn about all of this. Thank you so much.